Hi everybody, this is Angelica. So nice to see you today. Today's video is going to be about earth angels. So what is an earth angel? Are you an earth angel? Um, this is something that you um, may have thought about. Um, and if not, then I'll kind of go through and tell you the traits of an earth angel and then you can decide. So actually what gave me this idea is I found a little book, um, Earth Angels by Doreen Virtue. And this book I picked up uh, when I lived in Hawaii and I just saw it and I was like, oh, that's great. You know, I'll get that. I never actually really read it. I probably like looked through it a little bit, but didn't actually read it. Um, today I kind of went through it and um, pulled out some of the traits that go along with being an earth angel. Of course, I only, um, she has all the different people in here. Earth angels, elementals, star people, walk-ins, wizards. There's all different types of people here that are volunteering right now on earth. Um, so, and a light worker, I guess, would encompass them all because if you're here, um, you know, spreading a message or doing some sort of work um, that, you know, that serves humanity and you feel like it's a big thing within you that you have to do, then most likely you're here as a volunteer and um, <clears throat> you would um, have some certain traits about you that you came from somewhere else. So basically what this is, is it's just kind of describing the traits of an earth angel. Um, I've had friends who are from different star systems and stuff like that. Um, I really resonate to the earth angel um, myself, but I also resonate to indigo, and I'm also a twin flame. Um, and then, you know, I would put all that under being a light worker. Uh, so you may be more than one thing, you know, it's not, it's, I think that, you know, um, we don't ever want to try to label anybody, but at the same time, we do want to gain more clarity about, you know, what some of these traits are and why we have them just to better serve us and our mission so that we don't not know, you know, why am I feeling so different than everybody else? Because the volunteers and the people that are here doing um, this type of work um, are the minority. So you don't want to feel all alone, and it's good just to find little books like this um, or people who are describing traits that you have because then you feel more comforted. Like, you know, you, you know that the angels are around you, and you know you have a connection with angels. You know that you have a connection with the heavenly realms, which are different than what the Bible depicts the heavenly realms as. Um, it's not so um, put it's 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 the heavenly realms I've been I've been to and it's just different than how they describe. Um, not in a sense because when you're in that um, when you're in that kind of dimension it, it's different in, in the sense that it's not so visual and it's not so cut and dry as to um, you know the things that are there. So anyway Moving on, earth angels. So what are some of the traits that earth angels have? And um, are you an earth angel? Okay, so the first thing that you might um, carry as a trait if you're an earth angel um, is if you felt as a child or even currently, maybe you've awoken to this um, feeling of just being from somewhere else. You feel really different. You feel like um, you have no idea like what's going on in this world. You're like, whoa, this is really weird. Like what's happening here? This is not the playful, loving, joyful, you know, unconditionally loving place that I understand this place is really um, just the opposite of that pretty much um, and I felt like this as a child I would walk around and I was like 
whoa, like what is going on here? I would look at people, like when I'd be walking around, like I'd be at the store and I'd smile at everyone and be like, hi, just to see, like, cause they look so sad. Like everyone was walking around so sad, like off in their heads. And I see a rainbow and I'm like, oh, look, look, a rainbow in the sky. And like this one lady, I remember, I must have only been like five or something really young. And she's like, she looks up and she sees the rainbow and she's like, thank you so much for pointing that out. I guess I never even look up to see stuff like that. Thank you. So um, I just realized at a young age that people are kind of off in this kind of stuck miserable um, state and um, you know earth angels are here to try to you know shift that try to help people to snap out of that you know mentality okay so okay and then the other thing the next thing is they feel like they have a connection to heaven like what heaven truly is and heaven truly is a state of being and um, we can create heaven here on earth, okay? Um, <clears throat> but we have to get the frequency um, up to that level, okay? It's a higher frequency love. It's a light. It's um, just a beautiful, um, just very light feeling. It's not even happiness. It's above that. <clears throat> it's hard to describe the feeling of heaven because it's a very light um, feeling that cannot be described in earthly terms. We don't really have the words. Okay, so next. Um, Earth angels are passionate about helping other people. Wherever they go, all they think about is how can they help others. So they're always trying to think of ways that they can help. Um, they're very, very caring, very, very loving. They're always wanting to give. Okay, so... Um, which can, in this world, you know, be a detriment and can be not a good thing, especially when they give too much and don't give back to themselves, then they can, you know, get re very tired, very um, sick and other things. Because the other thing that earth angels are is they're very, very extremely sensitive to the point where you know, they can feel all their surroundings and they can not only feel all their surroundings, they can feel the surroundings in like different countries. Um, you know, because of their helping nature, sometimes they're called on to help other other people that aren't in their country or whatever, you know, they're not in their, their own space. So if they're called to go and, and help someone else, then, and in a spiritual sense, then they must do that. Um, I used to do that a lot more than I do now. Um, I, I've been asked to uh, <clears throat> be much more earthly or try to be. And since I've learned that over the past years of my life, I'm learning to be more earthly and grounded so that I can communicate in a way that people hear the earthly people that have incarnated over and over and over again here on earth and can't get unstuck from that cycle. I want to relate to them so that they can understand how to un get unstuck and, and unsnap from that cycle. Um, and if I'm not in a state of um, groundedness, then, then those people, and I've noticed before in trying to come to them with information, they just don't connect the dots. Okay, so the other thing about an earth angel is that they don't have any earthly origins. They're not like the other people, like I say, that have come here over and over again. Um, some are here just to enjoy the earth and the pleasures of the earth. And um, I think for earth angels, they realize the how like the earth pleasures that people think are pleasurable aren't really pleasurable because they've experienced something so much higher and um, so much more fulfilling that the earthly pleasures are kind of like, nah, whatever, you know. So um, although I've had to um, come and be more earthly and learn how to be more earthly, I really have no connection to the, to the earth necessarily. And that's, I love the earth itself and nature and all that. I personally, being um, more similar to these traits, never 
had a, a deep connection. I had more of a connection to the higher realms than the actual earth. But the people that are really connected to earth too, there's those that are like, I guess they would call them the elementals would be here. Them, they're more into the environment and they're helping more in um, actually healing the actual earth. So um, anyway, so that would be a different type of volunteer and helper that um, maybe I'll make a video about that one sometime. So, uh, <clears throat> so the other thing about earth angels is they have very gentle vibrations. They can almost like come around people and make them feel right at ease. And in that gentleness and making people feel at ease, People open up to them and tell them everything about their lives. Even in my past jobs, um, people would come to me and they just would tell me their whole life story within meeting me within three or to five minutes. Um, they just wanted to tell me everything and then ask for my um, guidance on and and I would oftentimes know exactly what to say to them. Um, and then they would sometimes come back. Sometimes they wouldn't come back for a really long time, but then they would come back and say, oh, yeah, you know, the things you told me really helped. So um, that's when I started to realize that <clears throat> I was supposed to be kind of helping in a counselor type way or a teacher way um, because people, I would see the results of, of, of it really helping people. And so that is what I want to do. That's my mission and my purpose. And so this is where it's um, led for now. So, um, their gentle souls and their gentle spirits can um, sometimes, if they are in balance, can really bring um, um, harmony and balance to a group of people, to another person. People feel very comfortable in your presence, especially if, you're, if you are balanced. Now, um, being like an earth angel myself, <clears throat> I was very, very shy when I was a child. Um, so shy, I wouldn't talk to anyone, barely, no one. And, um, but if I ever saw, if I was at school, and I, I have this other side to me, that um, like if I was at school and I saw someone being bullied, or I saw some kids being mean to another kid, something would come through me. And it, this, this still happens. It feels like it's just source energy or God comes through me. And I just become this super powerful, like, don't you ever do that again. Like, and people get scared like this, like, you know, this little, like when I was younger, I did it a few times at school. I had to stick up for people that were getting bullied. And I just jump right in the middle, like, don't you ever do that, you know, like really stern. And people are like, whoa, what, where did she come from? So earth angels may have the ability to switch into this, um, you know, really authoritative, authoritative type of, you know, don't ever do that. If someone's doing something wrong, they can get, you know, really thrown off. So, or if they feel weird energy or if people are like acting off, then earth angels even <clears throat> can um, can switch off that angel vibration into a different vibration that it could be good, it, it, it might not, I don't know, but anyway. Uh, so they have very, um, they are usually, earth angels are usually, um, drawn to teaching and healing because they have these abilities at their disposal. They um, are very good healers um, because of the amount of love they have um, within them and in their hearts, and they're very good teachers. So, and they might be drawn to those um, occupations or whatever. Um, they have a strong sense of purpose. They know they're here volunteering. They know they're not here to hang out and, you know, chit-chat or enjoy earthly pleasures necessarily. Now, um, now, collecting, like, material things or here just to have, like, material items, 
earth angels aren't here to do that. If they do want to draw in more money, it, the money would serve as a purpose to help others in a bigger way. That's the only reason that they would want to have those things. Um, so they don't, they're not materialistic. They have a um, strong sense of purpose that they're here to do the A, B, C, D. And um, because they're volunteering, they didn't come here to hang out because they, this is not the place to go on vacation to them. So anyway, they're here to do a job and then they're going to go. Um, earth angels um, sometimes can attract dysfunctional relationships to them because um, they have this loving energy and sometimes when they see dysfunctional people they almost want to like help them <clears throat> they want to try to fix them they want to make things okay oftentimes earth angels are born into very dysfunctional families um, and family patterns because they can transmute the energy with their love and their gentle energy um, another trait of an earth angel is they sometimes look younger than their age. Um, I got that one from the book. If you guys want to get this book, here's the book right here. And, um, they sometimes, maybe in the past, um, or currently, um, use substances to block their pain. Now this, this goes along with anybody going through a spiritual awakening, any kind of volunteer, whether you're like a you know, a star person, or you're an elemental, or you're an earth angel, or you're a light worker, an indigo, whatever. Um, you're so sensitive, and this world is so harsh that sometimes you will try to use substances to block your pain because you it, it it's easier sometimes. But then then you find out that it's not that it actually like drags you down and makes you not be able to fulfill the mission you came here to fulfill. So you have to learn other techniques in your life to get through those times when you're just feeling overwhelmed with, <clears throat> you know, stuff from out there. Um, you got to learn to ground yourself, take care of your physical body, do yoga, do things like that, gardening, things that really, you know, are good for your soul, your spirit, your physical well-being. Anyway, I think those are all the traits that I wanted to talk to you about today about earth angels. Um, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. And if you would like to schedule a spiritual guidance session, please go on my website that's below the video. And you will find um, everything I offer, all my services under spiritual services. So thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Bye.